Hey there, this is Amanda. I'm a NICU nurse for 16 years and clinical nurse specialist. And welcome to my YouTube series about some of my most common and loved posts on Instagram. Today, I wanna to talk about the five most common meds that we give in the NICU. So I've had a lot of different posts on different meds in the NICU that we give because I always feel like medications are one of those topics that it's like, it's good to review it again and again and again. So today let's break down some of our most common meds and starting with our first two we have of course amp and gent ampicillin and gentamicin so what are they and why do we give them so ampicillin and gentamicin what are they and why do we give them so they're both antibiotics ampicillin is a beta lactam antibiotic so that means that it inhibits bacterial cell wall synthesis. So it essentially breaks down the walls of bacteria to help them kind of help them die. It's oftentimes given with gentamicin for broad coverage against sepsis in newborns, especially early onset sepsis. Some things to think about when administering ampicillin is it can give, be given via slow IV push over about three to five minutes. And we watch for any kind of signs of rash, but overall it's very well tolerated. Our second most common medication that we give in the NICU, we have gentamicin. So gentamicin is an antibiotic that provides great coverage for gram negative bacteria when we're concerned about sepsis. Gentamicin is an aminoglycoside that inhibits protein synthesis. And when we're giving AMP and GENT together, I always like to think about how ampicillin kind of breaks down those cell walls and gentamicin inhibits the proteins inside. So they really work synergistically and that's why they are oftentimes first line, especially for early onset sepsis. When we're giving gentamicin, we wanna make sure that we are checking levels, especially if they stay on gentamicin for several days. So we want to check a trough before the third dose and closely monitor renal function because we know that gentamicin can be nephrotoxic and it can also be ototoxic. So we want to make sure that we check a hearing screen on babies before they go home, but make sure it's after those antibiotics are finished. Our third most common medication that we give in the NICU is caffeine. So caffeine citrate is given to treat or prevent apnea of prematurity. It works by stimulating the central nervous system, which increases respiratory drive. We give it as both a loading dose when a preterm baby is first born, commonly 20 mg per kilo, and then we'll give it as a maintenance dose to help, help continue to stimulate that respiratory drive. Some side effects you'll want to look for are tachycardia, irritability, and a little bit of feeding intolerance. The half-life of caffeine is pretty long in pre preemies, so we only have to give it about once a day. Another common medication we give in the NICU, number four, is surfactant. So surfactant is given to treat respiratory distress syndrome in preterm babies. So this is an exogenous surfactant, which provides or replaces when there's deficient or immature surfactant production in the alveoli due to preterm birth or other reasons, maybe deactivation of that surfactant. So it's administered either via endotracheal tube, although nowadays there are more less invasive methods that are being done, either through a catheter known as LISA, or even sometimes giving via a laryngeal mask known as salsa. So more and more less invasive techniques are coming about to administer surfactant. And number five, these kind of go together. TPN and lipids are very, very common in the NICU. They're given for nutrition for babies as they are growing, whether because they're born prematurely or because they have some sort of condition that means that they can't feed enterally. So we give TPN to provide that nutrition, the amino acids, the micronutrients and the macronutrients of protein and carbohydrates, as well as lipids to give them fats to help them grow and develop in the NICU until we can provide enteral nutrition. When we're giving TPN and lipids, we wanna monitor closely for glucose, their electrolyte values, triglycerides and renal function. Also, we wanna make sure that we're changing our tubing using aseptic technique per your hospital's policy. So keep in mind, babies in the NICU who are receiving medications, those medications are always gonna be weight-based. So make sure that the weight that's being used is accurate. 
If you want more content like this, like and subscribe so that you can get more and check out my NICU certification review course where we dive even deeper into a lot more of the medications that we give in the NICU. I hope to see you there. Bye.